Hi friends, I'm going to have a story time with you today. So I'm going to read you our new book of the week. Let me get into my chair now. I um, first want to tell you what a chameleon is because our story this week is about a chameleon. A chameleon is a lizard. A lizard is a reptile and this is a special kind of lizard. It can change colors. It changes colors depending on what it is sitting on. So you can see this chameleon is, it looks like it's on a little branch and there's a leaf uh, behind it. And so it is green and kind of yellow underneath like the leaf is. Here is another picture of a chameleon. Oh, this is not a chameleon. This is um, a frog. Uh, here's another chameleon and it doesn't look, it looks like maybe it was on a flower or something because it looks, I see some pink on it, but it's on a gray um, stick now or um, post and it looks like it's trying to turn gray. This chameleon is very green. And it also has a little thing that looks like a dinosaur here uh, that it's like its ear or something that goes up. That's a little different than the other chameleons. I didn't see that on them. And I notice it has a long tail and it, they curl it around. It looks kind of like a snail. This chameleon had um, showed its tail also and how it was all curled around. I'm thinking this chameleon is changing too because I see some other colors in it besides the green leaf that it's on and um, this orange piece behind it. So it looks blue. Maybe the sky was behind it and so it was blue and now it's crawling over onto some leaves and it takes a few minutes for it to change into that new color and it looks like it's in the process of changing into green. They are made that way to protect them so that um, people that or uh, other animals that want to eat them can't find them. They blend in when they change to match the color that they're around. This is a frog and I think it is just naturally this brown and kind of um, yellowy or lighter brown color but you can see how it blends in with the rocks that it and sticks that it's sitting on and um, maybe dead leaves and stuff that it's sitting on and you can hardly see it. So it would be very hard for something to come along and, and like a bird or a hawk um, from up in the air to see that and say, oh, I think I'll go down and grab him for my lunch. So this protects them. In this story, the chameleon is very young and the name of the book is A Color of His Own. This chameleon is sad because all the other animals have a color that they stay forever, but he changes wherever he goes and he wants to be like everyone else. He wants to have a color of his own that he can stay forever. So while I read this story, I want you to listen and see if this chameleon finds a color of his own that he can stay forever. A parrot is green. A goldfish is, now usually I think goldfish are orange, but this artist made the goldfish red with a little, little tiny bit of orange. Elephants are gray. Pigs are are pink. All animals have a color of their own. 
except for chameleons. Oh, look at the chameleon. It's yellow here. It's green here. It's blue here. It's pink and purplish here. They change wherever they go. On lemons, they are yellow. In the heather, they are purple. Heather is a purple flower. And on tigers, they are striped. Look, it changes. If there's an orange stripe beneath it, it's orange. If there's a black stripe beneath it, it's black. So it's striped, just like the tiger. One day, a chameleon, who was sitting on a tiger, a tiger's tail, said to himself, if I remain on a leaf, I shall be green forever, and so I too will have a color of my own. I'm thinking this chameleon wanted to be like all the other animals and have a color of his own that he stayed forever. So let's see if his plan works. Think about leaves. Do they change colors ever? I think this chameleon thought that the leaf would stay green forever so that he could stay green forever. Let's see if his plan works. With this thought, he carefully, cheerfully, sorry, climbed onto the greenest leaf. But in autumn, when is autumn? Oh, that's another name for fall. That's what season we are in right now. But in autumn or fall, the leaf turned yellow. And so did the chameleon. Oh, look at his eyes. I think he's thinking, What's going on? I thought I had a color I would stay forever, and now I'm changing colors. Bummers, this is not my plan. It's not working. Let's see if he stays yellow forever. Oh no, later the leaf turned red and the chameleon turned red too. And then the winter winds blew the leaf from the branch and with it the chameleon the leaf fell down and so did the chameleon the chameleon was black in the long winter night i'm thinking he was discouraged because he kept changing colors and his plan hadn't worked. And I'm thinking he just stayed in the dead leaves, maybe for the whole winter. But when spring came, he walked into the green grass. He didn't want to stay in the dead leaves any longer. And there he met another chameleon. He told his sad story. Won't we ever have a color of our own, he asked. Let's see what this chameleon says. I'm afraid not, said the other chameleon, who was older and wiser. That means smarter. But he added, why don't we stay together? We will still change color wherever we go. But you and I will always be the same color. So he would have someone with him that was the same color as him. Let's see if he likes that plan. And they remain side by side. Here they are side by side. I see the other chameleon's eye right here. And then this is the first chameleon's eye. Here's the first chameleon's long tail. Here's the other chameleon's long tail. There they are in the grass together. They were green together and purple. They must have gone in the purple flowers, the heather. And yellow. I think it's autumn again. It's been a whole year since the book started, since the, the story started. And they were red with white polka dots and they lived happily ever after. 
Oh, I see both of them. I see one person's, one chameleon's tail. I see the other chameleon's tail side by side and red with white polka dots. And I see a smile on their faces. So, remember my question at the beginning? Was the chameleon ever able to find a color of its own that it would stay forever? No, it didn't find a color that it would stay forever. But it did find a friend that it could be with and change colors forever. Hmm. I wonder if that's what the chameleon really wanted, was a friend that it could be with. So, I hope you liked my new story. Um, I would like to talk about sequencing with this story too. We talked about that last week, and usually I would do this on a different day. But since we're doing remote, on I have a few more minutes for my video, um, I'm going to do sequencing. Now parents, if you want to turn it off right now and turn the next part on tomorrow, that would be fine. I'm going to pull my camera over here so that I can put this on my board. So let's see if we can figure out, excuse me, what order these things came in. This says, then chameleon met another chame chameleon. Hmm, was that the, the beginning of the book? Was that at the end of the book? Or was that in the middle of the book? Use your thinking in your brain. Hmm. I think it was at the middle. I'm going to just set this in the middle. We may change it later, but right now I'm going to put it there. Let's see if we can get this so you can see it a little better. All right, this says he decided to stay on a green leaf then he would stay green forever. Hmm. Was that before he met the chameleon? The other chameleon or, be or after? Let's see. He, was, he went on the green leaf thinking that that could be his color forever. I think that was before he met the other chameleon. So I'm going to move this picture to the side and put this before. Let's see what the next picture is. But in the fall, the leaf changed color, and so did the chameleon. Did that come before he went to the green leaf? After he went to the green leaf? Before he met the other chameleon? Or after he met the other chameleon? Hmm. Think in your brain, where does it go? If you said, if you thought in your brain, it comes after the green leaf, but before he met the other chameleon, I think you were right. So now let's see. Here, this one says, the chameleon didn't like changing colors all the time. He wanted a color of his own. Let's see, did that come at the end of the book? Or was that at the beginning of the book? Or was that somewhere in between the green and orange leaf and meeting the other chameleon? Let's think. Hmm. I think this was at the beginning of the book. If you were thinking that too, then you are right. So first he said, I don't like changing colors all the time. And so he thought he'd go to a green leaf where he'd stay that forever. But the leaf changed color and he changed orange. So he didn't stay that color forever. Then let's see what this picture says. They decided to stay together. Then they would always have a friend to be the same color. And this shows them when they were red with white polka dots on a mushroom. Hmm. Did that come at the beginning of the book? 
Was that before the chameleon wanted to um, find a color of his own that he could stay forever? Or did it come before he went to the green leaf? Or after he went to the green leaf and before it changed orange? Or before he met the other chameleon? Or did it come after he met the other chameleon? What do you think? I think if you thought it came after he met the other chameleon, you are correct. So let's see if this makes sense in this order or if we still need to change something. So first, the chameleon said, I want to find a color that I can stay forever. Then he went to the green leaf and said, I'm going to stay on this green leaf forever so I will always be green. And then the green leaf changed to orange. And then he fell off and he was in the dead leaves all winter. And then in the springtime, he met the other chameleon who said, yeah, we're always going to change because he was older and wiser or smarter. Kind of like your parents are older and wiser than you. And he said, but we can change together. And so they did. And one time they changed from green into red with white polka dots. Actually, I think that sounds kind of fun. I don't know if I'd want to do that all the time, but it sounds like kind of fun for a little bit of time. Maybe I would like to get a chameleon. That would be fun, wouldn't it, to have a chameleon in our room and to put it on different things and watch it change color? Well, we have our fish, so I think we'll keep that for now, but maybe you could get a chameleon at home. I don't know if they make good pets or not. You'll have to check on that. Anyway, it was so good to be able to share this story with you. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you again later. Have a good day.